Welcome back to Steve Small Engine Saloon. Start, damn you. Start! Oh, this is not going to happen. This snowblower has been sitting outside for three years, has not started and ran in three years. I think I already know what the problem is. I think it's fuel related. And we're going to put this up on the bench right now. And I'm going to show you a cheat. Technically not the right way to do it, but I'm going to show you how to get this thing running. Really easy, mechanical knowledge, uh, you don't need it. Difficulty level is zero. Before we put this on the bench though, I'm going to do a little troubleshooting out here while it's outside uh, because it's going to start probably here. Uh, give me a second, I have to get something. All right, I got a little carb spray now. Um, and remember, snow blowers do not have air filters on them, just like an outboard engine for your boat. So I'm just going to take this and squirt a little bit of uh, carb spray right into the throat of the carb. No air filter in the way. And give it a couple shots of carb spray in there. We just primed it a little bit. Now this is, watch this. It starts, it burned that stuff out of there, and then it stopped because there's no gasoline coming up through the carburetor to keep that running. It, that was just running only on the carb spray. So what did that teach us right there? This engine has compression, it has spark, otherwise it would not have done that. Let's get it back up on the bench and I'm gonna show you this little cheat and I'm 99% I'm sure this is gonna work. This is gonna blow your mind, check it out. Tecumseh engine on this. <laughs> That's Mix Mower's favorite engine ever. This video is for you, me old cupcake. I am going to totally cheat on this right now to get this thing running. I know what the problem is. If you look right underneath this carburetor right here, you see that bolt? It looks like it's just the bolt that holds the carburetor bowl on. It is actually a bolt that holds the carburetor bowl on, but it also is something else. It's the main jet itself. The jet um, takes up all the fuel in from the carburetor bowl up into your engine to keep it running. That's all we got to take off today. Uh, before we can do that, uh, the carburetor bowl is full of fuel, so we have to uh, drain that. This engine does not have a fuel shut off on it so I just got my uh, trusty little hemostats here I'm just gonna pinch off the fuel line like that now we don't have to drain the whole tank out just the fuel in the carburetors now what we have to take out so let's grab that Now we got all that fuel out of that, not very much fuel in that uh, bowl right there. Now we can take that uh, bolt slash jet out. Uh, uh, 13 millimeter socket or a half inch socket is what we're gonna use for that. Either one is gonna work. Boom, there it is right there. Now let's have a really close look at this uh, little jet slash bolt thing here. Now if I take a flashlight, a little flashlight, and uh, shine it right into the side hole like that, and look right down the middle, there's no light at all coming through that. This thing is plugged. Let's unplug it. Three holes in this thing. There's one that goes sideways right through here, and then there's one that goes right down the middle, and then there's also this tiny little hole right here above the threads, right there. Those all need to be cleaned out because that is what pre is preventing the fuel from coming up from your carburetor into your engine and making it to stay running, right? Paperclip works absolutely awesome for this on, on this jet. Some, like you get your Hondas and stuff like that, they're tinier jets. Look at this paperclip. 
just going to run it right through the sand, right through the side. It goes right through like that, right down into that. Now on some engines, the paper clip is actually too big and it won't go in there. That's why I have these little micro drill bit sets right here. So you can, they come with different sizes of drill bits, super easy to use. And you can pick whatever side you want because that little hole that I just showed you, a paper clip will not go through there. It's too small. You just got to grab a, a little drill bit like that these are tiny and just run that through that little tiny hole like that through there and now that jet is clear I can see light coming through all over the place let's put that back in the bowl holding the bowl back on how easy was that? I mean, that's ridiculous. You don't need any mechanical experience to pull a bolt out and clean it or a jet out and clean it. Let's get that back on there. We are going to take this outside now and try it. No, I don't have the torque settings for this. The torque settings are called snug. <laughs> oh, there you go. Click that snug right there. Hemostats, back off. Carburetor's filling back up with fuel. And uh, we're taking this back outside and we're going to see if this actually worked. I love it when a plan comes together. Now, obviously, this is not the proper way to do it. It worked. At least if you do that, you can get your driveway cleared off. If you're a small engine mechanic doing this for a living and charging somebody for that, obviously, that would be pretty unprofessional for you to just do that without taking the carburetor off and doing a thorough job. Uh, I do have a video on that on how to take that off and, and clean it properly. Uh, it's in the description. The link for that video is in the description underneath this video and in the pinned comment if you want to check that out. I hope I just showed you how easy some of these repairs are. You don't need to be a small engine mechanic to do what I just showed you. Working hard on the next video. And until the next video comes out, all I got to say, I think, is um, Steve... Out.